do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a backup of your Fortuna Project memory card. Why do you want to do this? So let's say, for example, you got a memory card from me, your friend, someone online, what have you, and you want to make a backup. So in case your original memory card got screwed up, corrupted for whatever reason, you're not stuck without a backup solution, a modded solution with your memory card. If you have a spare, then you can keep on going and make another spare. So let's do this. So first thing I want to do is let's go into the browser here. My memory card, I just happen to have Free McBoot and Fortuna Project because I do a lot of different testing here. But let's assume that yours is similar or it's just a Fortuna Project only. So if I go into the memory card itself, right, this is my original one, my first one. I'm going to exit out two times here and it's going to take, take us to the ULaunch ELF program. And my second memory card is totally blank for purposes of this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is real easy, guys. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say X on Fortuna folder. I'm going to say X on the sys-conf. I'm assuming you have that. If not, make sure you make it. And inside that folder, just for clarity's sake, you should have at the very minimum icon.sys and sysconf.icn. If you don't have those files, uh, see one of my other video tutorials about Fortuna Project. I will link you on how to do that. And one last thing here is I'm going to say X on Fortuna, X on sys-conf. And what I like to do, totally optional, but I'm going to copy over the boot folder. So I want to mark that guy too. So now I'm going to say R1. I'm going to say copy by pressing circle. And then we're going to go back, MC1, R1, paste by pressing circle. So it's going to paste the boot folder. It's going to paste the Fortuna folder. It's going to paste that sys-conf folder. And once it's all said and done, you just effectively made a backup to a second memory card. And if you wish to add more .elf homebrew files to your second memory card, by all means, go at it. You can do that by getting the files on a computer, put it on a memory stick, a flash drive, plug it into your PS2, and then just copy the files over accordingly to wherever you want to copy on your second memory card. And if you wish to save some space, let's say you have a 9K series PS2, you don't care about free McBoot files, if you happen to have them, you can certainly delete them. So what you do is go to sys-conf, and then just delete everything here, except icon.sys and sysconf.icn. So what I'm going to do now is let's reboot my PS2. Um, yeah, let's just reboot it. So I got both memory cards in there. The first memory card has free McBoot. The second one does not. And I'm going to go into the browser. And we're going to load Fortuna Project from the second memory card. And you guys, you guys will see that it works fine. So we're going to go to browser. And then we're going to go to the second memory card. All right, this is a good sign. We see the orb. One more time, exit back, exit out. And here we are, great. So now we're gonna go to, let's say I'm in the mood for some OPL, open PS2 loader. I'm gonna load that. I just happen to have settings for USB mode. So I have a USB thumb drive that's plugged in. I got one game here. I'm gonna run this game and the game is gonna work because, because you know, I know it works and I played it before. So, and uh, just get ready for a lot of good times here. Now, of course, um, you get better game uh, playing experience if you do the SMB network share method, but I know not everybody has that capability, that kind of networking uh, available to do that. So USB is a poor man's solution. It gets the job done, I suppose, if you're itching to play your PS2. So anyways, that is today's PS2 video game tutorial, how to make a backup of your Fortuna Project files to your second memory card. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.